Hello beautiful Aries and welcome to your April tarot reading. Um, I'm making these timeless but this is done in 2022 but these are timeless for whenever beautiful Aries come across these videos because Spirit has really shown me that um, the messages that are have been given are timeless. So whoever is stumbling upon them at whatever time, these will be relevant for you. Okay, so for the for my beautiful Aries and um, their April energy, let's get some tarot. I also pre-picked um, some oracle cards here, and we'll be looking at those at the end. Okay, wow, what a great way to start. You have the sun, beautiful card. I wonder how, oh, <laughs> we had a lot falling out here for you. All right, and then we have the Eight of Pentacles, the Four of Pentacles, and the Empress. Put that over here. Okay, so gosh, with the sun to start, you know, there is a great joy and success happening for you in your life. You've had amazing new epiphanies that led to magical opportunities in your life. And you, your plans are working out beautifully. And Spirit just wants you to remember to give gratitude for the blessings that you've been receiving. Um, you've learned all you can about a subject or your career. You're going back to school perhaps. Um, learn And... Um, you've learned all that you can learn, or, you know, you might be actually finding a mentor or you may be a mentor to somebody else. Um, you, uh, you have amazing attention to detail and, um, you are, you're doing skill, something skilled that you absolutely love and you're having so much success in it and getting a lot of joy from that. And, the Four of Pentacles is about managing your resources wisely, um, but also not getting into the mode of letting your material gains, uh, letting your material gains dictate who you are or keep you in, a, in an energy of I am receiving accolades, people like me because of the things that I I have. You don't want to be in that mentality. Um, also, you don't want to protect your, your heart, your mind, and distance yourself um, with your materialism, you know. You just don't want to use it as a mask to who you truly are with the Four of Pentacles. Um, because in the traditional Rider Waite Smith tarot, you know, he, the character, he's really just guarding his heart with his money. He's guarding his mind and keeping his mind closed with the materialism that he has. He um, just values uh, the way that people see him because of his materialistic gain. So just be cautious of that. Um, and then we have the emperors here. So you're nurturing yourself, you're nurturing your creative projects. Um, and, and with this empress as well, there's great success, abundance and prosperity within this. So two very powerful cards. And I'm seeing this having to do with your career um, or creative projects, which will then turn into your career. So amazing success. Um, you're just doing everything that you can here to move yourself forward and you're doing it with love and joy. And so you're just attracting these things to you now because you're staying in this high vibrational way of thinking. Um, I just, this reading is so beautiful and powerful. I'm going to be pulling some traditional tarot cards here for you as clarifications. The sun Okay. So we have the page of wands, clarifying the sun, strength, 
clarifying the eight of pentacles the emperor it's clarifying the four of pentacles and the ace of wands so yes you have you're inspired you've had breakthroughs new ideas are coming to you you are strong and with this strength you have uh, and and strength and also a strong foundation um that you've really been able to build these new opportunities from because the ace of wands and the page of wands are very similar very passionate very um a new beginning in your passionate endeavor uh aspirations embodying the strengths that you admire so you've and the strength that you admire in your heroes or the people that you look to, the mentors in your life, you're really embodying that and you're strong. You've been able to tame the beast, you know, and with love and, you know, your inner strength and beauty as well. And you've got that strong foundation. So, gosh, I don't even know where to go from here, but Aries, you've had so so much success and fortune coming to you in your creative projects and um, this is just continuing forward in this month of April and I've seen this progression um, throughout your readings this year and um, I, I just want to congratulate you on this because it's like you're really reaching your goals in every way and um, the, the way that you've nurtured it and just take taking care of yourself has just brought you this new beginning in such a clear and passionate way. Okay, so I'm going to be pulling some oracle cards for you now. Just to see what else spirit has to say. Like I said, I could, I feel like I could just end your reading now because um, it's just such a beautiful and positive, energetic, passionate reading here. So expansion with the number one, north. You are fine. You have found your true north here. Um, you are on the right path to wherever spirit needs you to go right now. And you are on that path. You're expanding your vision. You're expanding your passion. You're expanding your business um, in every sort of way and with a strong foundation and strength, their inner strength. Um, so your true north, you are on that path to your true authentic self. And um, what you love to do is going to be a great success. Spirit, any other elemental oracles? Okay, we have two more here. We have completion with West. So you have gone through this cycle and you have completed this cycle with the four, which is about stability, the number four. Um, and also we've got the the desert here with another thir with 13 or the number four as well. So strong foundation, like I said, with the emperor here, I'm just sensing that for you guys. And the desert is solitariness. So maybe there is a time of going within here and just really cracking down and working on your project. And just because you have solitariness, that doesn't mean that you're alone or feeling lonely. Um, it's just about going within and finding comfort and being secure in that solitariness because this is where I feel your creative passion is being born. So the desert, you have the desert, but there is a completion, expansion, and you're moving on into the spring where things are going to be budding and the desert is going to be filled with water soon. Um, I'm just feeling that for you, but right now this desert might be a um, might be a quest, a spiritual quest, you know, like so many prophets have before as they've gone off into the desert to gain that wisdom that they need. And that is where you are. But then there's this um, completion and expansion happening for you where things are going to just blossom. Uh, amazing, amazing reading. 
Okay, and then I'm going to get either one or two more oracles. Spirit, can you give us any more information about this project, this completion? Any other messages that our beautiful Aries need to know about? Now, I feel like these two are the ones for you because I didn't want to go back into the deck. Um, we have Divine Masculine and then Variance. Okay, divine masculine, you know, maybe tapping it more into your divine masculine is going to be important for you because divine masculine energy is about bringing things into manifestation by manifesting, by doing the work that you need to do to get things done. And here as well with the, um, with the, emperor also this is aries energy here the emperor is about like that divine masculine tapping into the the strength and the that solid foundation of who you are and what you're doing being um strong in that that knowing that that inner knowing that you are on the right path and then actually being able to manifest it with strength and purpose uh so I'm just going through this. I'm going to have to, I'm going to get the book on variance because um, I want to know more about this card as well. So hold on just a second. I'm going to grab that. Also, we have the number five and the number 12 here or 32, 39. Um, also, uh, I forgot to say, this is about knowing your boundaries with people. Um, knowing your boundaries uh, in certain situations, knowing when to say no, um, and having strength of purpose in that. Um, okay, so 39. Variance. The differing perceptions of ego and soul. Today you may not feel like yourself. You and your soul are looking at the same thing, but are seeing it differently. Your emotions and reactions are a combination of your thoughts and your soul's thoughts. And when they don't align, you feel wobbly. Variance is a way of explaining the wobble. When you have the same perspective as your soul, things feel right. So it's about, you know, being in touch with your authentic self, the true self within, and then um, living that in your everyday life. They may seem satisfactory and easy. No limiting beliefs or patterns are triggered when you are on your soul's purpose, when you're being your authentic soul self. You know, you are not being triggered. You do not have resistance to whatever you're doing. But there is a feeling that all is well when you are in that soul's alignment. Your soul will never join you in judgment, blame, or hurt lower vibrational energies because it's not the truth of you. It's not the perspective of love. How you feel reveals how aligned you are with your soul. If you are experiencing th something that doesn't feel quite right, take a breath and come back to your center. You will begin to feel better, inspired to navigate your inner radar and ready to receive your soul's transmissions. So definitely about tapping in, you know, however you can do that, grounding yourself, meditation, going into that desert with that, um, you know, solitary time where you can recharge yourself, going on in a, on a spiritual journey, of understanding what that soul purpose is. When you're doing something that doesn't align with your soul's purpose, then you feel that wobble. You feel uncertain. That uncertainty will set in, creating fear um, and all the, the emotions that are associated with fear responses. So that's a good gauge. And just remember to tap into that, you know, when you're feeling that wobble because you are on the right path just need to remember and stay tuned in. Okay, so here I have these cards here that I picked for you before I started your your reading. And we have this is your um this is your unknown 
archetype, this archetype, wild unknown archetype card here. So this is your archetype for, for the month of April. And we have vision. So vision, you have the vision. You are making things happen in your world. We've got wisdom with the owls. And you know, you are here on this mountain and you're wanting to get to the top and that vision is going to help you get to the top. When we are um, born, we are given this vision, this vision of who we are, our true authentic self. And, but we forget, we forget and walk away from it. Um, it's just part of life. But when you have vision, you are tapping back in to your authentic soul's purpose and and when you have the vision, people are magnetically drawn to you and want to be near you because they know you have the truth, the truth of who you are. And that helps you see the truth in everything else as well. So you have the vision and you've gone within. It's the vision of who you are is manifesting all this beauty in your life because you see it you feel it and you have taken the steps to manifest it okay and this is also a card these are my homemade cards they're kind of yes no um cards so let's see what you got here and you have the moon so we know the moon is about tapping into your intuition your inner knowing that going within so spirit is confirming here that you have you know within yourself what your vision is and where you are going. And where you are going is leading you to great joy, happiness, success in everything that you do toward your vision. And um, I'm seeing this happening for you. I'm, ha I'm seeing this happening for you very soon, if not already happening in your life. So there's not much here that I can tell you anymore because really you have this sewn up and you just need to re keep remembering and tapping in to the divine, remembering to have, um, be grateful for all you that you have been given, all the gifts that spirit has given you and all the things that you've worked hard on. Don't devalue it. Don't let others devalue it. Protect what is yours, what you have gained so far. Um, you're about to em embark on your soul's path and give that out to the world. You were ready to receive what you have to offer. I'm so happy for you. I am so amazed by you. And I can't wait to see what you are going to be giving to the collective here in the in this year and for years to come. Congratulations, Aries. If you like my reading and you resonate with it, please like and subscribe. Um, click the thumbs up uh, and just, I would love to continue seeing you and hearing about your journey, you know, in, in the comment section below. All right, peace be with you. Bye-bye.